Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. We are live here at the oldest rodeo put on by Frontier Days. And I'll tell you, it's a great event to come out to. Um, I am standing with the man who's going to help me uh, determine because um, there's a little, little, um, how can disagreement about what a pickup man is? Because some people at our station believe the pickup man is a support for the wingman at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> or here at the rodeo, you're the person that keeps, of course, the horses and the uh, competitors safe. Which one is it, Ty? Well, you know, I, I can't say it's not both. <laughs> for me personally, uh, those days are long gone. So, so. I'm just here for uh, for the horses, the bucking horses, and the contestants. Yeah, this is Ty Atkinson, who is a pickup man. And so that's what, uh, it goes back a long way of what a pickup man does. So let's talk a little bit about what you actually do sure, here at the rodeo. Sure. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of heritage in what we do. Um, but mainly, our job is to escort the bucking horses out of the arena safely after the eight second qualified ride is completed. We ride into the bucking horse, get the cowboy off, trip the very innovative flank, and then escort the bucking horse out of the arena. So yeah. we're, we're mainly here just for the safety of the animals and the contestants. Yeah, and it's amazing to watch you work in that arena and making sure things are safe and everything. But it's not just during the rodeo. Also afterwards, you guys are out here moving the uh, cattle around, moving the livestock, everything, to make sure they're healthy and moving the right spots, too. Absolutely. Our job starts, um, you know, these horses don't know. They don't have a time frame, and neither do the cattle. So we are in charge primarily of all the animals at all times. Yeah, it's amazing. So, okay, so let me ask you, are, have you ever been a rodeo? Have you ever been out there so you know all the things that go on? Well, I don't know if I know all the things that go <laughs> on. But, uh, yes, I was a, a former contestant here, and, uh, oh, for six, seven years, I profited, competed professionally, excuse me, uh, yeah. in the saddle bronc riding. And this is a great way to keep rodeoing, doing what you love, being around a... Uh, Great atmosphere yeah. and, and getting paid to do so, it. All right, let's talk about the horse because this yeah. is also the star right here. Yeah. Who do we have here? Absolutely. This is Louie. Louie is a nine-year-old gilding. Uh, he's an American quarter horse, and he is a... Uh, you know, these horses get to be part of the family. Yeah. So you're uh, you're only as good as your equipment, and this is one of the best horses I have. Yeah, and I just got to ask, Louie, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. Uh, there you go. So this is great. Um, but, uh, again, an important part of the rodeo. And so you're inviting people to come out. You guys are here to give information. Now, if someone wants to be a pickup man, how, how do they become a pickup man? Um, You know, it, it's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of prerequisite to it. You uh, you need to know the horses, animals, and be involved in some facet of the rodeo before you get into this. It's definitely a labor of love. No one ever started being a pickup man to get rich, I can assure you that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, just get involved. Uh, and a great way to do that is come out to the rodeo, man. Uh, come say hi. You know, be around the animals and be around great people. Yeah, and of course you get some really cool chaps too. That's oh, the yeah. thing about there. That's oh, yeah. that's important. That's gonna ask you, Ty. It's not sometimes how you go out there and be the pickle man. It's how you look too, right? Well, there's <laughs> there is there is a, a facet to that, but you know, our job is uh, primarily we're just there to uh, for the safety of the cowboys and the horses. So, and okay, I see the chaps, and I see the, what's this right here? What are those? Right, so these are uh, called kick pads. These are protective boots for uh, the pickle men themselves. They'll go right on the bottom of my leg a lot like this horse has protective boots on his feet. Yeah. So we just kind of protect ourselves. If we can't protect ourselves, we can't protect anyone else. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, it's amazing uh, to see these uh, gentlemen and, and women, too, because there's both pickup oh, women, too, up there, too. Yeah, a so a few. That's amazing. Ty, thank you for coming. Thank I know you, you so guys much. are very busy in the morning. 